We begin in the Middle East, and the war between Israel and Hamas is spilling over into a different front. Turkey Aid has decided to halt all trade with Israel, including exports and imports. Turkey Aid's Ministry of Trade says that measures will remain in place until Israel allows unrestricted humanitarian aid into Gaza. Beginning from yesterday, the trade halt against Israel, including import and export, will continue until a permanent ceasefire in Gaza is secured, as well as unhindered humanitarian aid flow to the region. Ankara has accused Israel of creating a humanitarian tragedy in the Gaza Strip by killing innocent Palestinians. Turkey has also confirmed that the trade will suspension will cover all products. Last year, trade between the two nations reached almost $7 billion. Turkey's three biggest imports from Israel include refined petroleum, scrap iron, and polymers. Meanwhile, Ankara's three biggest exports to Israel are raw iron bars, automobiles, and jewelry. Now, the trade suspension is likely to impact at least 200 industries in both countries. Israel has accused Turkey of breaking international regulations by suspending trade, which is bound by government-to-government -government agreements. Now, Israeli's foreign minister has accused Turkey's president of acting like a dictator. The Israeli leader also claimed that Ankara was already preventing Israeli shops from unloading goods at Turkish ports. Turkey had already imposed trade restrictions earlier in April. Only this time, Ankara has gone beyond just halting trade with Israel. Ankara has also signaled that it will formally support South Africa's genocide case against Israel at the International Court of Justice. Today we submitted the results of our consultations to our president. And according to the political decision which was taken, I want to mention it for the first time here. We decided to join the court case submitted by South Africa against Israel in the International Court of Justice. With this step, we expect the process in the International Court of Justice to proceed in a right way. Now, ties between the two nations date back to over half a century. In fact, Turkey was the first Muslim-majority nation to recognize Israel back in 1949. However, ties between the two countries has disintegrated in recent years. President Erdogan has openly criticized Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu since Israel declared war on Hamas after the October 7 terror attacks. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Netanyahu has accused Ankara of committing heinous crimes against people of the Kurdish community. And as Israel carries on with its war against Hamas, it's facing growing diplomatic isolation with Colombia joining the ranks of Turkey and South Africa. Colombia has announced that it will cut all diplomatic ties with Israel for the killing of over 34,000 Palestinian civilians. In fact, the Colombian president has called Prime Minister Netanyahu genocidal as the South American nation looks to end decades-long ties with Israel. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issue, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.